stuff. It's warm. It's good, huh? What are they putting this stuff? It's not bad. It's pretty good. Have you seen this? Hey. Hey there, you big fella. Yeah, I think he's. Think you he's all done? Me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You and your daddy. You want to see mommy? Quality Here. time together. Watch your face. Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh, what a good boy you are. Oh, yes, you are. How about a little cruise around your quarter crib? What do you say? What do you say? What do you mean, this? Mm -hmm. Body found in trunk of car in Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. Check out the picture. Do you recognize him? Mm hmm. Yep. It's Carmen's. Flunky Pedro. Alias uh, Marco Feldman, evidently. I guess he knew too much. So Carmen headed out west, huh? That's what it looks she like. She keeps on going. Yep. Right into the ocean. Mr. Head of Corporate Security. Yeah. How do you want to celebrate? Let's see, we could uh well we could give Robbie a bath. Or we mm -hmm. could finish folding all the laundry. Oh, I mm -mm. forgot our, our new sitter did that. Or we could, um, yeah, there's always a baseball game on TV or something like that. Mm, I think that's a better idea. Mm -hmm. mm. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> What are you doing here? I'm getting acquainted with my grandson, Danny. Yeah. If you put one hair on his head, I swear I'll... You know what? Okay. Um... Carmen, why don't you give him to me now? Well, Danny, he's so beautiful. <laughs> he looks just like you did when you were this age. Yes, yes, he does. Hey, Poo -poo. Okay, that's enough. Give him to me now. Oh, no, I've missed so much time with this precious boy. I don't want to let go of him just yet. Relax. Relax, Danny. Carmen. I would never harm this child. He's my flesh and blood. I love him already. You tried to kill him before he was even born. That was a terrible thing to do. I've made nothing but terrible mistakes lately, and all I want is a chance to make up for them. Okay. How do you plan to do that? Hmm? By begging for your forgiveness, first of all. Fine. Fine, you um, hand, hand me Robbie first, and then we'll talk about forgiveness. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. See, he's spitting up. Oh, all right, it's poor okay. Thing. It's okay. He's all right. He's all right. You know, he's so happy with me he's now. He's not he's happy. He's scared to death. He's, you're wrong. Carmen. He loves me already. I can feel it. You know, it. you've done some really stupid things, but breaking into this house and threatening my boy like this. I am not uh, threatening anyone. For the last me. time, Carmen, hand him over. Right now. Give him to me. Carmen. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, all right, okay. 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 All right. I didn't mean to worry you. No, no, just don't move. Don't move. You stay right there. Honey. Honey, stay over there. Thank you so much, stay Daddy. Over there with Robbie. Seeing you the other day. And now seeing my grandson for the first time, and what a beautiful child he is. And he reminds me so much of you. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. Good. Good? Yes, Daddy. That's why I'm here. I want to turn myself in. I'm sorry, Danny. 
I know that this must all be so confusing to you. You want to hate me. You try so hard, but deep down inside you can't because you'll, you will always love a part of me. I gave you life. You will always be a part of me. You understand how strong that bond is now, don't you, Michelle? Right, Make her stop. Enough. All I want to is a chance to get close to you again, Danny, to get to know my hey, grandson. I told you to shut up. Frank, what the hell? Detective Cooper, long time no see. She was just uh, sitting here when we got home. She says she wants to turn herself in, so please. Fine, I can help her out with that. Stand up. Yes, sir. Turn around. How's she up to? Oh, who knows? Just get her the hell out of here. Danny. My pleasure. Come on. Danny, please let Say go of your Adios. anger. Come on. Please, just let go of your anger. I'm trying to. Families have their ups and downs. Life is too short. Life is too precious to hold on to these grudges. Please. That boy, I, look, that I said, boy. Get her the hell out of here before I kill her grandma. for real. Do you hear me? Danny, come on. Okay, hey. Everybody okay? Everybody all right? You all right? Yeah, you all right. You're okay. I know Robbie would probably be more comfortable in his big crib, but I just don't think I can let him out of my sight for a while. No. I mean, when we walked in here and I saw her touching him, I know, me too, touching me too. him. Me too. Why the hell did she come back here? Why? Why she's now? Sick, Danny. She's sick. She's lost all touch with all reality. Obviously, she thinks she's going to beat these charges against her. She's going to go to prison for a very, very long time. I hope. Wow, that's so much for um, starting over with our lives, huh? I was just about to start a great job at Spalding, and we were going to move on. But why, why are you speaking and It's like she knew. She knew. She timed it perfectly. Honey, like she knew. Honey, what happened right now doesn't change anything. Yeah, it does. No. It does. Honey. Carmen's going to be all over the news, and so am I, again. So much for, um, making a fresh start, huh? So much for it. No, we, we can, and we will. We're not going to have anything to do with her. How is, how is that going to be possible? There's going to be a trial, pro probably more than one, and there's going to be publicity so, months, so we'll, we'll at least it. months we'll of it. We'll avoid it. We'll, we'll, we'll put out a sign on the lawn that says no comment. And she is going to be guilty. She's going to be put away in prison. We're going to be done with her for good. Now, I'm telling you, Carmen is back here for a reason. I don't know what it is, but she's up to something. Okay. Okay, enough of this self-defeating talk. Well, the, listen, I don't think that's what this is. Listen to me. When I walked in here and I saw her holding Robbie, I was afraid. Is that what you call it? Okay. Okay, but I'm calm now, right? Uh, no, I don't uh, think you're calm. Am I calm you or am I calm? calm? I don't think you're calm. I'm calm. How could you be... I'm using my head now. I'm in a rational mode and I'm thinking. <laughs> Danny, Carmen's tried to kill me twice. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. Twice. She's tried to frame me for Ben's murder. She tried to set you up for her murder. Not to mention the, the countless number of stunts that she pulled to try to break us up. But she's always failed. Hasn't she? Hmm. You know why? Oh, uh, why? Bad luck? Because we're stronger than she is. Our love has conquered every single thing that she's thrown didn't our listen. way. You didn't listen to anything that no, I just I, said. I, I heard you. What did I say? You, you think she's hatching some, some plan against us. Yes. And you're probably right. But she's not going to succeed. I know that. I know that in my heart. Because we are stronger than a thousand Carmens. 
Well, and if you want to worry about something, you should worry about your new job. Your, your job with Alan Spalding. That's what you've got to worry about. Think about that. Because we have nothing to fear from your mother. Nothing. 